What do you two be Kelly back again with another banger video in today's video y'all I am going to be talking about what happened to the past 10 Bednarik award winners now if you do not know what that award is it is given to the best defensive player in all of college football now before I move on with the video remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you already haven't as we are on the road to 10k now let's get into it in the 2011 season the Bednarik award winner was LSU DB Tyran Matthew. Now in 2011 he had a monster season where in 13 games played he had 76 total tackles, 59 of them being solo, 7.5 tackles for loss, 1.5 sacks, 2 interceptions, 9 pass deflections, 5 fumble recoveries, and 6 forced fumbles. Tyran Matthew was only a sophomore at the time and people were amazed by how good of a player he was as he was viewed as a top player in all of college football and a top player in his position as well just as a sophomore in 2011 and going into the 2012 season people were expecting him to be competing for the Heisman Trophy as a defensive player. Iran Matthew unfortunately got dismissed from LSU going into the 2012 season which ultimately ended his college career early after two seasons in the LSU program. He was still such a great talent, you could not pass on him in all seven rounds, as he was taken to the third round in the 2013 NFL Draft by the Cardinals. Tyran Matthew has been in the NFL for a total of eight seasons since 2013, and he's going into his ninth season currently right now. He's had a great career as he's played for Arizona, Houston, and now Kansas City. In his career so far, he's made two Pro Bowls, three All-Pro teams, and he is a Super Bowl champion with the Kansas City Chiefs. In his career, he has 534 total tackles, 70 of them being assisted and 464 of them being solo, 39 tackles for loss, 9 sacks, 3 fumble recoveries, 4 forced fumbles, and 23 total interceptions in his career. In the 2012 college football season, the winner was Notre Dame linebacker Manti Teo. In this season, in 13 games played, he had 113 total tackles, 5.5 tackles for loss, 1.5 sacks, and 7 interceptions as a linebacker. That is insane. And not only that, he finished second in Heisman voting in this season. In the 2013 NFL Draft, he was taken in the second round by the San Diego Chargers. Manti Teo has played in the NFL for a total of seven seasons from 2013 to 2019 on active NFL rosters. He played in San Diego for a total of four seasons and New Orleans for a total of three. He is more known for his time in San Diego and honestly, he's had a pretty good career when he was healthy but he's had a few seasons where he's had some nagging injuries that he's faced that are pretty major injuries as well. In his career so far, he has had 307 total tackles, 22 tackles for loss, one and a half sacks, one fumble recovery, one forced fumble, and two interceptions. Manti Teo has never been to a Pro Bowl or made any All-Pro teams, but he's been a pretty reliable linebacker to say the least when he is actually healthy. He was last playing for the Chicago Bears on their practice squad in 2020. Now, on to the 2013 season with defensive lineman from Pitt, Aaron Donald. Now, Aaron Donald in the 2013 season had a huge year for Pitt, as in 13 games played, he had 59 total tackles, 28 and a half tackles for loss, 11 sacks, 3 pass deflections, and 4 forced fumbles. In this season as well, he was the ACC Defensive Player of the Year, he won the Nagurski Award as well, and was a consensus All-American. In the 2014 NFL Draft, he was taken by the Rams with the 13th overall pick in the first round. Aaron Donald has played in the NFL for 7 total seasons, all with the Rams. And honestly, don't need to say much, most of y'all probably already know this, this guy is a beast and a top player in the league. There's a reason why he keeps on being rated a 99 overall in Madden every year. The guy is a straight up baller. He's never missed a Pro Bowl, he's been to 7 Pro Bowls in a row, he's made 6 All-Pro teams, 2014 AP Defensive Rookie of the Year, 2017 AP Defensive Player of the Year, 2018 Defensive Player of the Year, and 2020 AP Defensive Player of the Year. 
He's not going to stop, and he's on track to be in the Hall of Fame one day. In the 2014 college football season, the Nagurski Award winner was Arizona linebacker Scooby Wright. Now, in this season, the guy completely balled out as in 14 games played at 164 total tackles, 31 tackles for loss, 15 sacks, and one fumble recovery. Going into the 2015 season, he was expected to be a top linebacker yet again and be someone that was going to build off last season and be a first-round pick in 2016 for the NFL Draft. But unfortunately for 2015, Scooby Wright faced injury issues and was only able to play in three games in 2015. And due to that, his stock fell, and in the 2016 NFL Draft, he was taken by the Browns in the seventh round. To start off his NFL career, he was with the Cleveland Browns, where he would be put on their practice squad before the season even started, and he was eventually picked up in that same season in 2016 by the Arizona Cardinals to be on their active roster as they needed him. He would be on the Cardinals practice squad for 2017 a little bit, but he would be put on the active roster yet again, and he would play some games. In his NFL career, he has played in a total of 13 games from 2016 to 2017, 3 in 2016, and 10 in 2017 with the Cardinals, where he recorded 7 total tackles, 5 of them being solo. After his time with the Cardinals, he would play for the Arizona Hotshots in the AAF. Then after that, he would be with the New England Patriots in the preseason before being placed on the practice squad, then getting released off the practice squad in the same 2019 season. He has since then played for the DC Defenders in the XFL, and he has last played in the Spring League. In 2015, the winner was Temple linebacker Tyler Matakavich, as in this season he played in 14 games, he had 138 total tackles, 15.5 tackles for loss, 4.5 sacks, and 5 interceptions on the season. He was also a consensus All-American, and he even won the Nagurski Award. In the 2016 NFL Draft, he was drafted in the 7th round by the Pittsburgh Steelers. Tyler has played in a total of 5 seasons in the NFL so far, 4 in Pittsburgh and 1 in Buffalo in this past 2020 NFL season. He's never really been a starting linebacker in the NFL. He's only started one out of the 79 games he's played in in his career, but he's been a good serviceable backup linebacker in the league as he has 100 total career tackles, 74 of them coming solo, and three pass deflections as well. In the 2016 season, the winner was out of Alabama in Jonathan Allen. He was very crucial to their defense and their success in that season, as in 15 games played, he had 69 total tackles, 16 tackles for loss, 10 and a half sacks, and three fumble recoveries. In this season as well, he was the Nagurski Award winner, a consensus All-American, and the SEC Defensive Player of the Year. In the 2017 NFL Draft, he was taken by the Washington football team with the 17th overall pick in the first round. In Jonathan Allen's career so far, he has played in four total seasons in the NFL, all with the Washington football team, and he's had a pretty good one as well. He's been healthy besides his rookie season where he only played in five games, but after that, he really hasn't faced any injury issues as of now. In his career, he has 202 total tackles, 21 tackles for loss, 17 sacks, two fumble recoveries, and one pass deflection in his career. In 2017, the Benaric Award winner was defensive back out of Alabama, Minka Fitzpatrick. In 2017, he had 60 total tackles, 8 tackles for loss, 1.5 sacks, 1 interception, 7 pass deflections, and 1 forced fumble. He also won a national championship in this season as well. After this big 2017 season, he would forgo his final year of eligibility at Alabama and declare his name for the 2018 NFL Draft, where he was taken by the Miami Dolphins with the 11th overall pick in the first round. Minka Fitzpatrick would spend one full season with the Dolphins and two games in his second year in the NFL before being traded off to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Since being traded to the Steelers for the rest of the 2019 season, he is still currently with them today, and he's seen as one of the best defensive backs in all of the NFL right now, especially as a young player. So far in his career, he has a total of 228 total tackles, 4 tackles for loss, 0 sacks, he has 1 touchdown, 
four fumble recoveries, three forced fumbles, and 11 total interceptions in his career so far. He also has 29 pass deflections as well. I thought that was worth noting too. In his career also, he has made two Pro Bowls and two All-Pro teams. Next up, let's talk about 2018 with Josh Allen from Kentucky. He played in 13 games in his senior campaign, where he recorded 88 tackles, 21 and a half tackles for loss, 17 sacks, 5 forced fumbles, and 2 fumble recoveries. He had a monster season, he won the Nagurski Award, and was a consensus All-American as well in this season, and the SEC Defensive Player of the Year. In the 2019 NFL Draft, he was taken with a 7th overall selection in the first round by Jacksonville. Josh Allen has played in two seasons in the NFL so far, both with Jacksonville. In his career, he has 57 total tackles, 13 sacks, 13 tackles for loss, and two forced fumbles in his career. He even made a Pro Bowl as a rookie. In the 2019 season, the Benaric Award winner was defensive end out of Ohio State, Chase Young. Now in this season, he played in 12 games, had 46 total tackles, 21 tackles for loss, 16 and a half sacks, three pass deflections, and seven forced fumbles. The guy was almost unstoppable. He was the Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year, he won the Nagurski Award, and he was a consensus All-American. He would forgo his final year of eligibility at Ohio State and declare his name early for the 2020 NFL Draft, where he was taken by the football team with the second overall pick in the first round. In Chase Young's rookie campaign in the 2020 NFL season, he had a really good year. As in 15 games played with the football team, he had 44 total tackles, 10 tackles for loss, 7.5 sacks, 3 fumble recoveries, and 4 forced fumbles. He was the 2020 AP Defensive Rookie of the Year, and he made a Pro Bowl as well. For the 2020 season, the final guy that we're going to talk about in today's video, the Benaric Award winner, was linebacker out of Tulsa, Zaven Collins. Now in the 2020 campaign, he played in 8 games, where he had 54 total tackles, 7.5 tackles for loss, 4 sacks, 4 interceptions, 1 fumble recovery, and 2 forced fumbles. The guy was a complete beast. As well, in this season, he was the AAC Defensive Player of the Year, Consensus All-American, and even won the Nagurski Award. In the 2021 NFL Draft, he was taken with a 16th overall pick in the first round by the Arizona Cardinals. Well guys, if you made it this far in the video, remember to smash that like button, turn on them post notifications, and subscribe for more videos. B. Kelly, out.